Hello stampers. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. I'm Pamela Pick. So today I have something a little bit different. It is a simple stamping project. We're just going to use a few items. Stampin' Up! has a campaign for simple stamping and this is perfect for those of you who want to start stamping but don't know where. You don't need um, every gizmo that there is to, to be a stamper. We've got kits available. We have all sorts of things available that you can use. So today I'm just pulling together a few simple products of some things. Now the Silly Goose will be retiring soon. It's one of my favorite um, stamp sets that they have. So we'll be using this for the stamp set. I've got a good basic black ink. This is our Memento Tuxedo ink. Some basic white note cards and envelopes which gives you both right in the same package. And then I will be using a Stampin' Write marker. We have a couple of different um, ways that you can do this. I'm also going to be adding some, this is the uh, lemon lolly marker, so I'm going to be using some lemon lolly paper and some basic white paper to add to my project. Okay, let's get going. So let's start off by pulling out a card and envelope. <clears throat> from the note card and envelope set. Oops, that's got just a little bitty spot on it, so we'll, we'll put this to the outside because I can cover that up easily. So these are pre-scored, these note cards, and they do mail on one stamp, which is nice. And note cards are a great way to start when you're starting stamping, just because um, they're smaller, you don't have to figure out how to cover a bunch of stuff, so that's awesome. Now, today I will be using our Stampin' Trimmer. <clears throat> this is a wonderful tool, very versatile, and I am going to be using it just for trimming. It does do scoring also. So we are going to, let's see, this is a, we're going to do a two and a half, so measure two and a half inches. And we'll cut that and then by four inches <clears throat> and this is where I'm going to stamp my image now oops I didn't get that quite cut now we did and then while I have this out I'm gonna use the lemon lolly so I'm gonna make a mat for this so we had two and a half so we'll do two and three quarter which is a nice quarter inch measurement and then we had four last time so let's do four and a quarter and then that way these will line up perfectly with one another let me show you so here they line up perfectly with just a quarter inch mat around there so taking our uh, basic white and the memento black ink. This is the tuxedo black. I'm going to use the thanks from the uh, Silly Goose set. This little goose that's carrying. Ink that up good. You can kind of see on there. And I will just center him right in the middle. We're close to the middle. And I'm not rocking this, but I am giving it a good press so that that ink transfers nicely. Now, while I have this image out, I'm going to ink it up again, and I'm going to use it on the, on the envelope, on the back of the envelope, so we can dress up our envelope, too. This is a perfect little thank you card. Let that ink transfer. Okay. Now, it's okay that I stamped off a little bit. The whole image doesn't have to fit. I just clean it up. We have these Stampin' Chamois, and they work wonderful. Okay. So I'm going to move that aside and move that image aside. Now, to color this in, I'm going to do something a little bit different. 
instead of using the marker to actually color in my image, I'm going to just basically scribble over the whole image. So this is great if you've got um, a little frustration maybe to work out or you just want to have some fun with it. You don't have to have um, a whole bunch of supplies to make a really great card. So I'm just kind of laying it on its side. That's it. I've just colored that image in and we'll let those lines show. It's okay. And then it, it looks great. Now, if you want it to, to go up a little higher, just add another line. Don't worry about it being exactly perfect. This is a handmade card, so they're not exactly perfect. I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue. Now, I prefer the liquid glue. If you've seen people use some stamp and seal before, that's great. I like it because I'm going to show you why. If I put this down and you can see, I do not have those edges even. I've got it too close over here and too far. This gives me a little bit of wiggle room. So again, another great item for somebody who's new to get used to the products. Okay, now we can come back in and see my little smudgy there. That's okay, because we're just going to go and glue this right down. So you can glue it down or you can use some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'll tell you what, I glued the last one down because I was trying to keep limited products, but I will show you just using a little bit of dimensional and then I'll show you both ways. Now I always have just a little bowl right here. Otherwise I find these things all over the floor stuck to my foot. And then they travel into other rooms, so I just keep a little toss-away bowl. Now that covers up that smudge nicely. No one's ever going to take apart your card and see that there was a little goofus there. Okay, so this is popped up. And then I'll show you. This is just glued flat. So it's just if you want a little bit of... Uh, difference there. You can have that. It's just a different adhesive. Now I will bring back in the Memento ink and I love this stamp set. I'm so sad that it'll be retiring at the end of the month, but it has so many cute little sayings. I'm going to use sending a big honk and thanks since it's a goose. I think that is just hilarious. So I'm going to ink that up. I should probably turn that right side. Sending a big honk and thanks. And we'll just stamp that right there. Now we have a beautiful card and envelope to send as a thank you card for those that you want to just send a little note to. And it didn't really cost much. It didn't take much time. And it's very cute. This mail's on one um, stamp. I am here in the U.S. So it mails on one stamp. Um, if you would like to purchase any of these products, they are available. The stamp set, however, ends at the end of this month. It'll be retiring. But if you would like to use any of these products, you can purchase them through my online store. If you're watching me um, on YouTube, all you have to do is go to the description box. I will put a link to my store for that. If you have any questions about simple stamping, drop me a line. I will also have in the um, description box my email address. You can find me on, on Facebook under Piccadilly Stampin', Pinterest, um, Instagram, any place like that, social media, I'm pretty much there. So take care, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.